We're back again for another episode of Juju on the Go. We've all had a wonderful adventure in Ho Chi Minh, but now let's go back to the Philippines. I'm very excited to bring you on a local summer destination that maybe some of you haven't heard of yet. We're checking in now with Air Swift. They will be taking us to an island north of Iloilo, Sikogon Island. We're flying with Air Swift for this wonderful journey. Air Swift is the leading boutique airline in the Philippines and is the only airline with direct flights from Manila to Sikogon Island. And the travel time to this destination is just 1 hour and 25 minutes. Good morning. We have just landed here in Sikogon Island and I'm so excited to be rolling and to just have gotten off the plane. This is our first destination, first travel for the year for Juju on the Go. And I'm excited that we're here now in Sikogon Island. I don't know if a lot of you have heard of this place or have been to this place, but I have yet to discover and go around and um, see it for myself. Come explore with me Sikogon Island. Welcome to Sikogon. Salamat po. Maraming salamat. Sikogon is located at the heart of Western Visayas, accessible by air, sea, and land travel. Central location from other tourist destinations like Islas de Gigantes, Boracay, Iloilo, and Guimaras. Before Boracay, there was Sikogon, and it was used to be known as the destination of the rich and famous in the 70s and the 80s. Okay, you guys, I'm really so excited that I get to explore this place for the first time together with everybody watching. And I think that's one of my favorite things about Juju on the Go is that I get to share these experiences with a lot of people. And it's always fun. It's always fun to get to experience a lot of first-time things with, with others. I'm so excited. We've been planning this Sikogon trip two months. Talaga, perfect timing beside my flower. Isa sa ipinagmamalaki ng Sikogon Island ay ang Sea to Summit activities. And it's just like the best of both worlds for travel junkies because you get to experience the sea and the forest. Thank you, Pop. Thank you. Okay, we're here. Medyo choppy yung waters kanina, so medyo nakakahilo siya. Especially on, on an empty stomach. But we're finally here. At magbe-breakfast na tayo. The water is so clear. Quiet place. Good morning! Maayong aga! Maayong aga! Ano po yan? Kamiyas po. Wow, try ko. Mmm, fresh. Mmm! That's good. Uh, Maayong aga. Aga. aga! Our first stop where we'll spend the first night, Balay Kogon. But before we explore more of this beautiful resort, we have to eat breakfast dahil maaga tayong nagising kanina at wala pa tayong kain. So before we rest and take a nap, we're going to have a quick tour of the place, get familiarized. This is just actually the first resort that we're going to be staying in kasi bukas, magta-transfer naman tayo sa Huni, ang tawag nila sa isa nilang resort. So we're just gonna spend one night here and then we're gonna transfer to Huni. But right now, we are in Balay Kogon. This is another place that you could stay if you guys visit. Currently, may tatlong resort ngayon sa island. The other one is called Hatch. It's a hostel. And I believe they have about 24 rooms. And then I asked kung ilan yung capacity na kaya ma-accommodate ng Hatch. Mga nasa 80 packs din daw. Or 80, 80 guests, all in all. Tara! These are the beachfront rooms. So, beach again, front in total, rooms. 26 rooms. Front rooms and then we have garden rooms also at the back. At the back? Yeah. 
Wow, ang ganda naman yung view mo sa the ocean. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's check the room. Pero hindi to yung room natin. So we'll just yeah. give you guys a glimpse of the beachfront rooms. It's a, it's a pretty simple room because I think ang pinaka beauty niya na is of course the fact that it's beachfront. So I mean, imagine like getting up, waking up and the first thing you see is the water, the sand, nature. That's that's what makes the stay so beautiful. Shang view niyan. And then let's see the garden. Wow, so cute then. Para tayong oh, nag-enter ng kakaibang lugar. Very my nature naman tong side dito. Okay, more or less the rooms look like the one that we saw. It's just mas garden vibe siya, of course. Mas trees, mas ano, gotta hide. Ang sarap ng aircon, ang sarap, ang sarap ng bed. Parang gusto ko ng bumigay. So ayun naman, um, I think if you want like less direct sun and mas more, syempre iba, iba naman yung mga tao, may ibang tao, mas gusto nila yung greenery, yung, yung nature, yung forest vibes. Tapos may iba naman gusto nilang unang nakikita is the water, the ocean, the sun hitting their face. So if you're not the type, dito, tayo, dito kayo sa garden room, villa, cottage, whatever you call it. But this is the beautiful way to the beach. This is the access. See? That's the view. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. By the way, guys, this is Madame Ritz. Mga kasama natin for the duration of our trip. And I heard it's your birthday weekend. It is, is it today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. How old are you going to be tomorrow? 34. 34! Yep. Okay, so. So this is uh, our Hilltop Deluxe room. Hilltop Deluxe. This should be your rooms for your stay here tonight. Okay. I'm excited to see. Wow. You have your own. Wow, look at their private, view. Uh, balcony. Wow. Wow, that's the view. Wow. Okay, so this is where we're going to be staying. So cute. They have a message. Maayong pag-abot sa si Kogon Island. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's an extra bed. This will fit two people. If you have a baby, that your baby's gonna fit. So the three of you, a happy family. This is the banyo. <clears throat> Yay, big banyo. Banyos are so important. If you know me, if you watch Juju on the go, you know that. Yeah, so a bra full bar. And then this is our view. So when you wake up, you want to have some coffee, have some quiet time. That's the view. So, well, it's snapping time and we have a full afternoon ahead. We're going to enjoy the resort, enjoy the beach, have some drinks. But since we were up at 3 a.m., it's time to rest. Let's open the fan so the balcony may fan show. Okay, guys, rest up. See you later. Okay, so we found out a little trivia about this area, about this sandbar. Is this considered an island? Islet. Island. Yeah. Okay. Islet. <laughs> small islet. Yung islet. 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 Small. Mm -hmm. Alam mo first time ko lang malabo. Yung islet. Oh. Yeah. 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 So island. Malaki siya. Islet. Yep. Small. small. Hindi sa akin tinuro to sa school or hindi ako nakikinig nung time na yon. 
most likely yung number two. Okay. Anyway, please tell us mm -hmm. about what you were um, explaining to us a while ago. Yeah. So during low tide, dito sa Buaya Beach, um, nilalakad itong area. Tapos usual activities ng communities are gleaning. Yung namumulot sila ng shells mm. or shrimps, crustaceans. Here. And, yeah. This whole um, front beach. And then during low tide, pwede pong lakarin yung from here going to uh, Tumakin Islet. And then also Islet. that area. So yun. Islet pa to sa lagay na to. Mm, islet pa po siya. Sobrang laki niya. Chicago and Island is an island. Yes, yun. of course. Understood. But anyway, super cool fact. And we want to try to achieve. Sana we wake up by 7 because super low tide out. Tapos malalakad natin to mga island mm -hmm. na to. So that's something that we're going to try to achieve tomorrow. Sana mangyari. And they say that in this area, beautiful sunrise, yeah. right? Yeah. Around 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., okay pa. <laughs> Tulog pa kami noon, but I'm sure it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, thank Kika. You, So it's finally dinner time and um, the resort Balay Kogon actually set up a beautiful dinner set up for us by the beach. It's really pretty. We're going to show you how it looks. Um, should we? Yeah, tara. We're going to have dinner. We're going to end the night early because we had such an early start of the day this morning. Um, and tomorrow is going to be another full day and early morning. So we're planning to have dinner early and then end the night early as well para we could get some rest and sleep. here on the island but right now yan na sa um dock ako kasi may inaabangan tayo may sasama sa atin on this trip hindi ah! naman nila tapos saya ako no <laughs> almost excited <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Welcome. Grabbing Okay, we're gonna get our stuff. Good morning! 
morning, we are now on our way to another resort here on the island called Puni, which is also called the Modern Tropical Oasis. Galing lang tayo sa Balay Kugon, which is also called the Home by the Shores. A little trivia, yung Balay Kugon, siya yung unang-unang resort here on the island. Tapos sumunod na si Puni, which is the more modern resort and it's it's much bigger. It has its own private pool. And then yung isa natin na i-check then is also called Hatch Resort. That's the third resort here on Sikigon Island. But our itinerary for today is island hopping. So we're gonna be checking five different islands. So may mga pupuntahan tayong malalaki din. Yung mga pinakita natin kahapon were islet. Ayun lang. So we're making our way there and we're going to check the room again. Our usual room tour and we're gonna check the place and we'll catch you guys there later. resorts here on the island. Look how beautiful it is. Guys, careful. I'm excited to see the pool kasi syempre dun sa kabila is more of the beach, more of the trees. Mas nasa treetop tayo. Pero ngayon, kompleto tayo. May swimming pool and my ocean. Just take a look around. It's complete. I'm excited to see the pool kasi nakita ko sa pictures kahapon. Yeah, exact. Parang siyang infinity na, no? So, Kahapon, ginagawa ko na yung research ko sa Huni kasi gusto kong tingnan kung saan ako mag sa sun bathing. So, mag-hi tayo kay Tita Gloria. Tita, good morning. Lumalabas lang eh. Biglang lumalabas <laughs> lang eh. Hindi ko maiwasan. Hindi ko maiwasan eh. Uh, uh, I told him that your first film was shot here. Yes, this is where I did pinakamagandang hayop. Is Kamalang it super na different na now, Tita? Coming back. Ano ka? When I arrived here, there was no house, no nothing, talahit okay. only. And then, they said, saan ba gusto niyo ang kwarto niyo? Eh, I arrived at 4 in the afternoon by land, by air, by sea. <laughs> they did that uh, this morning. <laughs> they did that this morning. <laughs> so, by 4 o'clock, sabi ko, then, mamaya, pukpuk. Isang tao lang, pukpuk, pukpuk, pukpuk. Uh, then, he made me kwarto na. Sabi ko, unang banyo. Saan ba gusto niyo ang banyo, ma'am? Oh my God, no toilet. <laughs> then, they made me a toilet. All in two days. <sighs> This is what I did, pinakamagat. Wow! Huni is one of the great places to stay here in Sekokon. Its spacious rooms combined with an epic beachfront view allows visitors to enjoy both their stay and the beauty of the island's nature. Finally here at the Huni Resort, one of the resorts here on the island. Um, we are going to tour first the family suite, which consists of three twin beds. Not one, not two, but three. Ha? Huh? Beds. What bedroom? Kaya ko pa ba? Okay lang. Ganun talaga, guys. Minsan nagkakamali tayo dito. Pero sa Juju on the go, pwedeng magkamali. Tapos matuto ka na lang after. Okay. So, look at this. Tatlo yung bed niya. Usually ako, nasasanay ako sa dalawa lang yung bed. But I'm quite amused na meron silang three bedroom dito so it's the perfect family suite queen beds pala to not even twin correct so family suite nga so dito si daddy si mommy and si baby girl and si baby boy or pwede ding si mommy lang tapos si baby girl and then si baby boy tapos pwede ding si baby girl baby boy baby girl kayo depende it's up to you syempre hindi naman ako magde-decide ano and then the eto one of the best things about the family suite is actually how big yung stretch ng balcony niya. Let's open it. Look at this. This is how big the balcony is. So, kahit nga pang friends pwede dito eh. Kasi tatlo na nga yung bed. Tapos dito kayo mag-hang out. Just feel the breeze. Um, Actually, where I'm staying is a one-bedroom suite. And the view is so beautiful. It's really the view of the ocean, the pool, the trees of the entire resort. Which you guys will see in just a bit. 
here we go. We are now entering the deluxe room, which consists of one bed. But this is the beauty of this room. This is the two bedroom, more or less. Ganito din yung room namin na one bedroom. And here's the view. Mas maganda view namin. Okay, anyway, maganda pa rin yung view nonetheless. Pero yung view namin talaga is nice. Here's the two bedroom for you and your bestie. Unlike the traditional Filipino design of Balay Kogon, Huni displays a more modern and contemporary architecture where tourists can enjoy the combination of luxury and comfort. It's now time for one of the highlights of this trip, the Islas de Gigantes hopping. Hey guys! So, we are on our way now to Gigantes Island, the famous Gigantes Island. And we're gonna have our lunch there and um, see the other beautiful spots in that island. Right now, we're currently going against the current. So, yung motion ng boat, nahihilo talaga ako right now. Uh, but, it's okay. Because when we get there, it's gonna be worth it. But, just to let you guys know, from Huni Resort, it'll take you an hour travel to Gigantes Island. Once we're there, lahat ng iti check natin, the four other places na iti, spots na iti check natin are all just within Gigantes Island. Or if not mistaken, nasa Gigantes din siya. So we're gonna explore, have a good day, have lunch there, and enjoy the ocean, enjoy the water. And it's a beautiful day, the weather is so good. It's a good day to have a good day. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Tama, it's definitely a good day to explore Gigantes Island Kaya naman for the first stop, Kabugao Gamay Shells dito. So this is our lunch area. Okay. Welcome, ma'am. Hello. Yeah. Come. Hi. Hello. This is Julia. Hi, Julia. Hi. Welcome Hi. to the Philippines Hi. and congratulations. Thank you. How are you liking it so far? Yeah, it's amazing. I've been here for three. This is my third time. Oh, that's your, it's your third time? Yeah. Okay, well, you beat me to it. That's yes. my first. <laughs> oh, really? So, yeah. <laughs> so, what's your favorite Filipino dish? My favorite dish, uh, the chicken adobo. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite. <laughs> yeah. All right, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Go have your meal. Hi. Finally here in Gigantes Island, and sorry, just sobrang gutom namin. Napakain na kami agad. There's quite a lot of people today. So these are our friends from Sikogon Island, the community from here. So we're just having our lunch, and then after this, we get to go around to check the other spots, especially yung pinakataas na spot dyan, na um, where everybody takes their photos. We'll see you in a bit. We'll just finish our lunch. Bye. spot here in Gigantes Island. It's the perfect spot to take your Instagram picture. So, syempre, tatry natin yan now. And we're going up. It consists of 63 steps. Pero, kayang-kaya natin yan. Ang dami na nating na napagdaanan sa Juju on the go. Pero kanina, sa totoo lang, pinag-isipan ko muna. Pero naalala ko yung sa Bohol. Kung na-achieve naman natin yung nasa Bohol, kayang-kaya natin to. Wow! We are really getting the perfect view right now. This is 
the spot that everybody goes up to to get that perfect view of the island. It's so beautiful, guys. It's breathtaking. Grabe talaga. Ang mga isla natin dito sa Pilipinas. Hanggang ngayon, pag tinitingnan ko, nakaka-shock pa rin talaga. It's really, it's we're, it's one of kind. So ngayon, to try natin yung ginagawa ng lahat, which is the hingal. <laughs> on taking photos in the most Instagrammable spot in Gigantes. Let's explore the second island. Hello! We are now in our second island, Antonia Island. We'll see how different it is from the pinaka... Yun ang tinatawag nilang main area. Kumbaga, yun yung pinaka puntahan talaga. But this is one of the really beautiful islands just around Kabugao Gamay. Okay, and then what's nice also about Antonia Island is there are a lot of water activities. So, meron silang kayak, merong paddle boarding, merong jet ski, banana boat, name it. Nandito yung mga activities. If it will help, May, June, lalo na ang June, ang pinaka-peak season ng jellyfish. So, make sure, clear ang water. Pero kung hindi, don't risk it. Because if you want to risk it, if you can take it, do it. Okay? <laughs> but don't do it. It hurts. Swimming, swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Ang excited ako gawin, guys, bumalik sa hotel, huni, at mag-swimming sa pool. Hello po. Good afternoon. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Nestled on the picturesque Gigantes Island, Antonia Beach attracts tourists with its pristine shores and azure waters. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? Baka may jellyfish, paapaala lang muna tayo dito sa gilid. For those wondering, sino ba itong cute na cute na bagets? His name is Riley. Next on the itinerary, ang Tanke Lagoon. Lagoon is tucked in the cliffs of Isla de Gigantes. The name Tanque means tank in Filipino, given by locals due to a gap in the boulders acting as an entryway for seawater filling up the lagoon. Alright you guys, we are now here in, kung tawagin nila ay Tanque Lagoon. Mas maalat pa daw ang tubig dito, but can you see the view behind me? It's just amazing. Hindi ko alam if yung nakakapture ng camera is giving it justice, but wow. It's beautiful. Take a look at the water. It's super clean, pero sobrang alat daw ng tubig. You should come. It's beautiful.
guys, it's finally dinner time. It's the end of the day, and um, we're feeling quite tired from all the swimming today and the island hopping, but the good kind of tired. Um, it's a very fulfilling, productive day. But before that, let's eat, let's get some rest, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's officially our third day here in Sikigon Island and the first agenda of the day is to go to the Lagoon Eco Trail and Nika is here with us again, the sustainability officer here at the resort to explain where we're going, what we're doing and just all the other information that we all need to learn about the place. So welcome to Sikogon Island. So we have a different flora and, flo uh, flora and fauna here. Recently we conducted a biodiversity assessment last March. So, ito yung mga may expect natin during the Lagoon Eco Trail. So, yes, we have the different habitat types of Sikogon Island. We have the mixed primary and secondary forest. So, for the primary forest, ito yung natural forest na talaga na hindi pa na natatouch. And then the, for the secondary forest, yung parang na damage na sa by man-made man yan or natural tapos tumubo na lang ulit. So, nandito mostly yung ating secondary forest. Pero yung pupunta natin is here. For the oh, Lagoon okay. Eco Trail. And then, to remember, of course, always bring your refillable water flask, baka uhawin kayo sa Lagoon Trail. Pero short a walk lang naman siya. Uh -huh. Apply sunscreen and insect repellent. Take photos, respect wildlife, and experience the Gogon from sea to summit. Yun. Nice. Thank you. Ready Thank na ba you. kayo? We're so ready. Let's All do right. it. So, this is the entrance of the Lagoon Eco Trail. Before we enter, bigyan ko muna kayo ng bird checklist. Oh, nice. Baka, baka May lang makita. naman makita tayo. Okay. okay guys, so Nika just gave us a bird checklist which is so fun. Para every time na may makita kaming specific na bird, we're just going to, yeah. ah, mag maglalagay kami ng count for ilan ang nakita namin for that specific kind of bird. So, para tayo naka-field trip. Yeah. So, exciting to. Dapat pala no shade. Alright. So, dahil may checklist, mas na-pressure naman ako may makita. Ano ba to? <laughs> Let's just relax and see along the way kung anong makita natin. Mostly doon talaga tayo makakakita sa laguna. Sa may lag sa laguna. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm excited to see these species kasi syempre hindi naman parang palagi natin makikita yung So the yung laguna is still to. under development. Ah, so okay. So careful lang po tayo. So recently lang siya in-open last March. 21 during the International Day of the Forest. So, ayun pala yung scrub fowl nest or the tabon nest, yung parang may mound na lupa. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. And then, if active, wala pa siya masyadong mga garbage or trash na dahon. Pero pag medyo pinabayaan niya na for, a meantime, for the meantime, medyo, yun, wala nang naglilinis. So, ito yung Philippine scrub fowl nest. Okay, so... So, meron na tayong one. One, okay. No, not yet. Kasi mm -hmm. baka may makita pa tayong iba. So, the lagoon is surrounded by mangroves also. Pero, yun, um, seasonal din kasi yung pag may tubig siya, minsan wala din. So, pa summer na, or dry season na, so medyo wala na siyang tubig. So, dyan yung entrance ng old resort for the cottages nila. <laughs> Pero right now, hindi pa siya walkable. Oh, yeah! Basta din siya ng team. Yung that yung remnants old ng old very first resort here. Resort? Yeah. So, lahat yun ang area is cottages na. Galing! So, that's in the 1970s. Mm. I wonder how that... Actually, I'm gonna research that. Paano sila nakapunta sa island? If now nga, it's not that um, accessible. I mean, yung direct is mm -hmm. just air swift as of yeah. today, right? But at that even time... Even before, I think, air, through airport din. Airport as well. Mm -hmm. Meron na talagang airport siya even before pa. Ah, so, okay. mostly yung nakakarating nandito is mga, mga famouses daw through private planes, ganun. Kaya nga, when I research the... The island, parang for the rich and the famous. Mm -hmm. Yung talaga yung parang tagline nila oh, before. Oh. Then, over there is the old ah, yes! swimming pool. The old swimming pool of the resort. So, malaking resort siya, mm, I malaking suppose, resort no? Siya. So, may remnants pa rin talaga, mm -hmm. no? But imagine, ha, like this one, this foundation was built in the 1970s pa. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Love, look. Uh, yeah. Nila. Right now, yung mga nagsiswim dyan, mga tabon. Baka warty pigs na yung din dyan. Yeah. <laughs> and then because dahil nangyari na nga yung nag-blossom na yung barakay, yeah. medyo nakalimutan ng tao yung si Kogon. So this is the really station na. So dito tayo pwede mag-bird watching talaga. Dito. 
Early in the morning, maganda talaga mag bird watching. Lahat dito. sila. Mm, nandito sila. Exploring more of Sikogon's islands, we dive deeper into the island's forest. This lagoon serves as the sanctuary for the island's endemic biodiversity. for hiking. Hindi na kayo po. The moment of truth, the ultimate highlight of this trip and the first for Juju on the go. Hiking the highest peak of the island, Mount Opau. Alright guys, this is it. It's finally hiking time. So instead of sunrise, ang gagawin natin is a sunset hike. So hopefully by the time na nandun na tayo sa pinakataas, dun na natin papanuulan yung sunset. But what's behind me is Mount Opau. I really don't know much what to expect but they're saying that the trail is nasa mga intermediate level and yeah it'll take us about one hour and 15 minutes and maybe going down would be 45 minutes and it also is the highest peak here in Sikogon Island um you'll be hiking with us so you'll see the trail but obviously yung pagod namin hindi magiging same pagod sa inyo pag pinapanood nyo to but I think it's going to be really worth it once we're up there and yun talagang pinakalino look forward ko and when we get also to the very peak, makikita natin ang Bantayan Island, which we all know is in Cebu. That's part of Cebu na. And um, a lot more. Actually, enough of the talking. Let's just save this energy for the hiking. Okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Entrance pa lang ka guys. Entrance pa lang. You only knew the things we go through. Turning back, no? Wala na. <laughs> May naligaw. Uh, ano? <laughs> Kaya pa! Okay, guys. Okay, so we're... That's the swell? Oh my god. So currently, malapit pa lang tayo sa kalahati and wait lang. Ito po si Vince ngayon with all the foundation. <laughs> Vince, please close up para lang over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. Sa lighting tayo para maganda. Oh, yes, 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 oh, correct. Oh, I think hiking brings out the different personalities and among the zodiacs. Yeah, yeah, among oh, yes, amongst all the zodiacs. <laughs> uh, we're just taking Sabra a break. Aries gotta support. I gotta know. support your fellow Aries. So, Dito na lang tayo mag outro, guys. <laughs> Ang ganda ng view, guys. Oh, shit. Anyway, ito talaga yung gigantes, though. Tuloy ang laban, kaya naman aakyat tayo ulit. So, this is my POV cam. Tulala ako eh. <laughs> Walang nasabi sa cam. Nag-swimsuit na lang ako kasi parang hindi na talaga kaya. Pero kaya. Kakayanin. Oh, let's go. 
Okay, they're there. I want to show you guys how it looks from my point of view. So, tara. Samahan niyo ako. Yes, kaya natin to. Pag nakaabot kami sa taas, ibig sabihin kayang kaya niyo din to. Just don't forget your water. Kasi ako wala. Okay, so this is how it looks. Everyone's behind me. It's just a nice walk though because there's really ambient sound. Like you hear the birds and you hear the creatures that really stay on this mountain. And, and we're so, so close to being there. Just one more and we're there. We did it. Wear your trail rubber shoes also. Uh, I'm really happy that I bought before coming here. Mahirap tong hike ng nakachanelas. I think we're almost there. I'm excited to see the sunset and, and the view from the very top. So the closer you get, syempre the steeper na yung trail. Dahil napaka taas talaga ng pinaka tip or the peak. Uh, <laughs> joke lang. Water please, water God. I think we're almost there. Malapit yung parang sa bahay ka palang sinasabi mo na sa mga kaibigan mo malapit ka na. Pero paalis ka palang ng bahay. That is the best part of every journey when you actually go through it. We always say this on every trip. There's always some sort of challenge. But when you get there, you're grateful you did it. So, um, that's the mindset. Just go through it. Kanina pa yung malapit, guys. Uh, 40 minutes ago. We're almost there. Maliwanag na I can see the water from here. Yay! Thank you, Lord. So, hey, guys. Um, we're resting. There's Julia. On Mother's Day, inakit namin ang Mount Opao. <laughs> Bumaba kami Mother's Day 2024. Chari. As a mother. <laughs> As a mother. <laughs> now we're really up there na. We're getting there. Okay, alright. Here we go, guys. Whoa. I think we're really here. We made it. We did it. We did it. We did it. That's where we're staying. Four. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is it, guys. We're here. We made it to the top. Hello, ma. It's worth it. So. Tiisin nyo na lang yung hike guys because look at how beautiful the view is. Actually, sobrang gutom na talaga kami. We kind of want to talk about what we're having for dinner because we realize hindi pa siya na explain or na pag-uusapan yung food na meron sila dito because it's really, really good. Um, I've been having so much rice 
today, so tonight magpapasta ako, then later half the rice. And um, later, after we have dinner, we're going to talk about our hike. And excited ako kasi you're not just going to hear my experience, but everybody's experience. Para makuha nyo naman yung thoughts and opinions of our other friends that joined us kanina. So, mag-dinner muna kami and we'll see you guys in a bit. Kami na namin na pag-usapan tungkol sa hike. We were just talking about the hike a while ago kasi may kanya-kanya kaming mga experiences kanina. Naiyak na ako kasi tawa kami ng tao sa mga pangyayari kanina. Pero I wanna first hear the thoughts and opinions, of course. Sige, bigay na natin. The mom of Juju want to go there! So, ganito na nga. Well, actually, first... Hindi kami tama. Hindi. Ah, okay, okay. Well, alam niya ang gulo niya. Ayun, happy naman. Kinaya natin dahil congratulations, guys. Pero yung totoo. Well, since first time natin, ako may hirap. Oo. Yeah. Pero looking forward ako sa next na hiking natin. Kasi ang ano pala, parang ang rewarding. Mas taas na. Tama. Ayun, excited ako sa next. Pero magka-training muna tayo. Yes. Okay, let's hear it up for RJ. Eh. Hindi nyo na kumunan yung experience ko eh kasi medyo na delay kami na 30 minutes pero okay naman. Siyempre yung tatay ko medyo ano, 75 years old na so medyo naiwan siya. At alam ko na na maiwan siya kasi na lagi kami nag-hiking so nakakabang na ako. Pero it's nice. Um, kumbaga sa hirap, sa, sa difficulty meter ng mga bundok, meron talaga yun eh. 1 to 10. Ano to? Ano yan? Siguro na sa 2 or 3 yan kanina. So talaga meron yung ano. Meron yung leveling talaga. Yeah. But, mahirap siya talaga, lalo na. Oh, first time, na ganun kahirap. First time we be. Di ba? Uh, pero, it's always the, ano, the journey before the destination yung pinakaibigate. Yes. Eh. Ang mga na kasi napakapating kami na tatay ko, nag-usap kami, yeah. di ba? About sa mga bagay-bagay na hindi namin pag-uusapang hindi kami naiwan. Tsaka ang ganda ng gusto ka. Bye, Roy! Papasok ko na ngayon. Hey, Ryan! Um, w was born at kasi okay. magkarating mo kaya uh, maakit ka parang kung gusto mo ka na kailangan mo ng tubig saka extra short kasi pag bababa ka na parang kanali Sobra pawis! Pinawis ang makayos! Sobra bro! Masang-basa! Parang nalibo sa pawi! Parang nagsiling! Kasi kailangan ko ng dalit para na ano Yeah, sobra. Pero pagdarating mo sa taas, ako tayo na rin yung pabababa. May mga na, may mga na tunungan ka naman, pakakit? O... May mga pababa man. Ang pumuno ako ng mga gumawa. Mga pababa? Pababa ng madilim na parang balerina na lang. Mga ganyan. Talaga yung hawa ko isa sa harapan nila sa akin. Portino madilim pa nun ah. May nagre-reklamo ba? 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 Pero it was fun. It was fun. It was another experience. Nakakapalang ko. First time ko mag-hike. First time ko mag-hike. Tapos gano'n? Gano'n, no? First time ko mag-hike. Ang sakit-sakit. Pero bumot ko yung feeling ko yung ACL ko kanina ng bibig ko. Kaya sabi ko, kaya nakukuna ako, nagpapatulong ako doon sa security. ACL? MCL? ACL? ACL. Ah, ba? Ipaw, ipaw? Oo. Pero rewarding yung ano, yung view sobra. Ano, struggle ko lang pababa kasi malabang matako. So, hindi ko makikita yung mga bato-bato. So, meron kami yung ano, Alalay, guys! Yes! Ryan, talaga, save it. Napinag-share na namin ni Jay. Okay, good, good. Ikaw naman. Okay, Kina! Ating drone ko. Yeah, first time on the first time. Drone on Camp Oak. Editor. Editor. Go! Yung first time din mag-hike. Tapos, ganun pa yung level nung... Hike. Parang nag-workout ng 2 hours. Tapos, parang nag-swimming. Kasi sa Pawis. Sobra, sobra. First time mo ba mag-hike? First time. Sorry. Okay. Wala ka rin siya, Juan, nagawa. Wala ka talaga. Sige lang. How did you hike? First time ko siyang mag-hike. Tapos ang nag- First time din! Tapos ang natutunan ko, kailangan mong may tubig dapat kasi sobrang... Sobrang nakakaano siya. Tapos may narinig ako kay V eh, parang sabi niya, kapag the more na iniinom ka ng tubig, the more na napapawagin ka. Patobi. Patobi. Bibigat ka. Bibigat. Pero kailangan pa sundot-sundot talaga. Kailangan lang. Papasayot mo lang yung 
Sige. Sana binasa ko lang. <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> please. Sorry. <laughs> Pero ang pinakamasaya doon, nung pag-akit na, biglang nawala yung pagod mo. Yes. And syempre, thanks to Ryan. Inalayan. Inaalayan. Yeah, super hero <laughs> si Ryan sa kahit na doon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kahit madulas-dulas na tayo dyan, no? Yeah. Sa patag. <laughs> sa patag kami na doon. Ay, no, 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 no. Ay, sorry, sorry. Hindi ako nadulas sa patag. Kasi puno na yung sabi niyo. Oh my God. <laughs> After him, sabihin niyo, careful BFF. Oh, sabi ko, careful BFF, tapos sumugod ako sa puno. So, yun yeah. lang. Thank you. Hindi ko naiiyak, ha? Hello! Ay! Um, overall, the hike was such a great experience. Um, paulit-ulit ko ito sinasabi every time na nagsushoot tayo for Juju on the Go because we have some activities usually na before we get to the best part, it's always challenging in the beginning. And a while ago, that was hard for me. But I was reminding myself over and over kanina, and kung ipapakita ni... Kina lahat ng clips from a while ago, nagsis self talk na talaga ako kanina, self encouragement. Um, it's because I remember that from our past episodes, um, I always feel so grateful that I went through it and uh, nilaban ko siya, di ba? Laban, laban, laban. Oh, bawi, bawi. <laughs> but, um, meron akong favorite, naalala ko lang siya kanina nung um, naliligo ako from a movie, they say, they sabi niya, life is hard, but the view is great. So, perfect siya kanina sa hiking natin kanina because mahirap yung hike, but the view is great. So, we say it's worth it. And tama si JM. Once you get to the top, you forget everything, lahat ng pago, lahat ng sweat, lahat ng mura, lahat ng everything. So, um, that was such a wonderful experience and I don't think it's gonna be your last. But again, kailangan namin magpalakas ng stamina. Ayun lang naman, um, it's been a really great trip so far and we're so grateful that we had people that joined us, um, our friends and RJ who joined us on this trip, which makes it even more special. Um, Sikigon, Ayalan, Champa Kinala Ritz, Kinala Nika, Air Swift, um, Kuni, Balay Kogon, even Hatch, and sa lahat ng kuyas and everybody who assisted us sa buong entire trip. Thank you so much for this wonderful experience. It's definitely not the last time. And if you guys have been thinking about going to Sikogon Island, this is your sign. Go, go, go! Direct flight via Air Swift. Yun lang naman. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you on the next one. thought that the province of Iloilo has more hidden treasures that are yet to be discovered. Thanks to Air Swift for flying us to this majestic island. Our Sikogan Island adventure has opened up a lot of realizations and really the Philippines is full of discoveries in every epic destination. From the warm hospitality of Balay Kogon, Maayong aga! The luxurious Huni Resort, the Islas de Gigantes, the breathtaking views of Cabugao Gamay, the serene beauty of Antonia Beach, the enchanting Tanque Lagoon, the Lagoon Echo Trail, to the tiring yet rewarding trek up Mount Opao. We've explored the best of what Sikogon has to offer and have unfolded its hidden gems. We've proven once again that the journey and every adventure is what makes the experience worthwhile. Until the next episode, where should we go next? Tada!